भाई रक्तिम सिंह इज कमिंग विद अ सीरीज वेयर टेक्नोलॉजीज विल बी एक्सप्लेन इन ए वेरी सिंपल वे दैट इज वॉट माई प्रोमिस ये टेक्नोलॉजीज बहुत ही सिंपल लैंग्वेज में लेम एंड टर्म में समझना है और ये समझना है कि क्या वो टेक्नोलॉजी आपके बिजनेस में अप्लाई हो सकती है और उससे आप क्या क्या फायदे ले सकते हैं वॉच दिस सीरीज टेक्नोलॉजी सिंप्लीफाइड बाय रक्तिम सिंह बट ए आई इज डिफरेंट ए आई हेल्प यू इन मेकिंग द मीनिंग ऑफ द डेटा So they said all others were sort of management of the data, capturing the data, storing the data. But AI helps you make a meaning of the data. And when I say make a meaning, it helps you finding patterns into the data. So just for uh, everybody's information, AI is there for many years. Work on it started sometime in 1950s, and the whole idea is. can machine do what human can do and like that initially lot of excitement was there but then everybody realized making the algorithm for the ai was becoming complicated and we have seen two ai winters it means not much work has happened uh because just think of it if i take example of if you see elephant so there are two type of elephant and if somebody has to code based on that elephant has like this eyes this tusk uh, feet now coding all those things become very difficult and if you notice the other elephant you cannot see a visible tusk here so all those become very difficult if somebody has to really code and identify now later some more development in ai has happened so ai we can say contain machine learning which in turn contain supervised learning and supervised learning and reinforcement learning reinforcement learning is the most powerful of this machine learning so instead of writing a code like how elephant looks what has happened in recent year because now we have cost efficient is data storage system lot of digital data is there so what it means lot of photos of different type of elephants are available on internet and this data can be fed to a machine and machine can that way can read can capture the images and divide into the pixels so what it means if i take elephant it will divide this part break into pixels like here it's task also it will divide into various pixel and learn and because a lot of data now is available on net so all that data can be fed to machine and cloud computing power is there so by that machine learns on its own and in the reinforcement learning one set of data is given and it and get tested algorithm get formed and then it get tested against the different set of uh, data but suffice to say that again there is various mechanism by which machine or the computer is trying to find the pattern into the data so how a elephant looks like again according to me that is a pattern so it has learned and now whenever it sees another picture is able to identify like that the pattern now this pattern can be in anything either in the picture or in our languages there are patterns how we talk be it in english language hindi language or anything else so this is where it learns it learns by identifying the patterns and keep on learning and remember anything be it a human being or for that matter machine if it learns how to learn it become very powerful and that's what is happening that is what is happening now with ai because now machine is learning how to learn so that is where ai is becoming more powerful now let me quickly come to the the hot topic of the year which is chat gpt chat gpt is again a generative uh, ai and it is based on language model 
so the way we have learned the language like that here this uh, model also has learned the language so suppose uh, and of course it has been fed with various data you know billions or jillions of the data it has been fed and it's taken a lot of computing power and uh, uh, smarter chips so that it can process the data and understand the data but to start with chat gpt is only a program it does not have a database or it does not have a any maha searcher which search over the internet and provide you the answer so it has learned it's just a program which create the sentences so suppose earlier there were sentences on the internet that 100 sentences were there 75 sentences said the sky is blue and let's say that 20 sentences said that the sky is pink and maybe five sentences said the sky is green so when you put to chat gpt the sky is so in a deterministic model it will say the sky is blue then there are some other parameters in uh, chat gpt which is top p and temperature if you change that it may say that the sky is green because that also it has found it out so mainly it is putting down or completing the sentence the sky is and then filling the blank blue and like that it is learning and creating more sentences and same thing is in applied for image creation which is dali 2 which again create the images based on what it has learned now of course the though i have said that chat gpt is only a application a program but latest advanced uh, in advancement uh, it along with the bing it has now getting integrated with the internet also so it can search from there also first it will try to form uh, give based on its learning or trained data and later it will try to search and give the data but remember this is what it is it is a program which has learned with billions of data by identifying the patterns into that data and learn those patterns